What's up guys, it is Flashwing. Welcome to another edition of Talk Tuesday. Today, as you can see, we're going to be talking about track day stuff. So, in continuing with yesterday's MotoVlog Monday, I talked a little bit about what to expect with track days in terms of what you can expect with the different groups, what you need in terms of gear, what you need in terms of stuff with your bike, and a couple of little tidbits about what to expect when you're actually on the racetrack. Today I'd like to talk about some of the custom one-of-a-kind gear that I've got here and why you may want to either consider it, but more importantly, some of the features of the gear that I've gotten that you may or may not be interested in. The first thing is I want to talk about is base layers. Um, this in particular, as you can clearly see, is a custom base layer that was designed by a company called Venom, Venom Sport, Venom Motorsport, or VNM Sport. I will link their website in the description below. Um, they are a company out of California. Uh, base layers are basically um, material and clothing that you would wear underneath your suit. However, base layers can be used not only for suits, but they can also be used for underneath your traditional street gear as well. But the materials do feel very high quality. Um, I've already had this through a couple of washes and had absolutely no problems. But again, I mean, the design that was done for this particular base layer it was fantastic. Um, it's been very helpful having a base layer for a couple of reasons. Number one, the moisture wicking capability of the base layer, especially in drier climates like Arizona, basically turn it into sort of a de facto swamp cooler. Combined with a perforated suit or even a perforated jacket, um, it really did help keep me cooler in the 95 to 105 degree Fahrenheit temperatures that we have out here. Something like a base layer from VNM can actually um, improve the riding conditions for me out here. I have absolutely no doubt that it would be beneficial for you in any other part of the country or indeed any other part of the world depending on where you're watching this. The non-custom version I believe runs $100 US However, what you're getting is a very high quality piece. Um, I believe the custom version runs a little bit more, I think around $140 or $135. Considering the amount of time it looks like it was put into that particular custom piece and the nice look of it, um, I felt like it was a really worthwhile expense. I've been very, very happy with it. It also does help with getting in and out of the suit. The material is, is rather slick. It's not abrasive. There's nothing really for the suit to catch on. If you already have a one-piece suit and you happen to be doing track days, I really invite you to check out Venom Motorsport or Venom Sport, VNM Sport, however it is, it is labeled. I'm, I'm really not too sure and I do apologize if I get that wrong. Um, please check out their link in the description below. Let's talk, let's talk about this suit. Um, a custom designed and fitted suit from a company called Ballistic Apparel. Um, one of the reasons, one of the many reasons I chose Ballistic Apparel is because Jace, who is one of the individuals who owns the company um, and is the primary suit designer, is local here to Phoenix. So if you happen to live in the Arizona or even maybe the California area, uh, Jace is local. He is also a motorcycle track day racing competitor. So he races and actually competes here at least at the local level. Um, so he is a track rider and he is a racer. So he is using the very product that he is actually selling. So the advantages of that really are you have some ideas and innovations for this suit design that are inspired and something desired by an actual person who is tracking and racing their motorcycle. Um, secondly, it is a design that is continuously updated and changed based on not only his feedback, but feedback from other customers 
about the suit design. So first and foremost, one of the things you're gonna notice about this suit compared to a lot of other suits is the way that the leather is actually printed on. Um, what is really cool about this particular design is that it basically makes your entire suit a open blank canvas because they can print directly onto the leather panels and pretty much make whatever kind of crazy design or color combination you want. This particular, this particular suit is a cowhide and kangaroo leather hybrid. Um, it's going to have cowhide in the more impact uh, known areas and then it's going to have kangaroo in the areas that are non-impact zone um, to actually improve weight. I have absolutely no idea how many kangaroos or cows lost their lives making my suit. I believe it was quite a few given my size. So you can't see it, you're going to have to take my word for it, but one of the few enhancements that Jace has made to this particular suit you're not going to find in a lot of other suits is the liner inside. You may not be able to see, but there is a zipper here. The liner on the inside is actually removable. It's one feature that unfortunately does not, does not work for me because I'm not designed correctly from the factory to allow this to work properly. But Jace has actually designed a belt that sits inside the suit so that way when you take the top portion of the suit off, you have a belt that you can Velcro and that actually keeps the suit up. So you're not having to like try and tie the arms together or using bungee cords or anything like that. There are a ton of features to this suit, things that I don't even remember. If you are interested in more details, I will provide Jace's contact info below at Ballistic Apparel. Hit him up, he is very responsive and he is very, very detail oriented. Um, one of the things that he talked about quite a lot was the stitching of the suit. Um, I know that there are, in many cases, there are trip, there's triple stitching in the majority areas of the suit, I believe. But one of the things that he also did is he used these base, he used panels such as this that he doubled as logos or sponsors or anything like that. He worked these additional panels into the suit and these are actually solid reinforcement panels here as a way of continuously reinforcing the stitching to keep the suit from coming apart. Impact zones and things like that around the elbows, all of these are highly abrasive, highly abrasive material. Everything on this suit has a purpose and Jace has done a really great job of taking some of that material, of taking some of those appearance items and being able to make them into actual functional items or vice versa. With Ballistic, you're gonna get a suit that is much more tailored to your overall fit. One thing I want to say about me in particular, to give you an idea of what kind of a company this is, Jace was working with the individuals who actually make the suit and manufacture the suit. He put in a lot of extra time and effort because I am a big boy and I have a weird body shape when it comes to suits. Jace not only took the measurements for my suit, but he also provided pictures of me so that the individuals who were putting the suit together understood how my body was shaped because there was some confusion based on my measurements about how the suit should actually be constructed. I, from what I understand, this suit was very difficult to make. It did not cost me any additional money. Jace did not charge me for any additional time. The fee for the suit was up front and then he handled everything on the back end. The customer service, I have to say, is fantastic. Aside from that, because Jace was local, I had the benefit of him measuring me personally since he knew everywhere precisely that needed to be measured. I knew that that was going to cut out a tremendous amount of time, but the way he normally does it is he normally does it via Skype or some type of video conferencing, which means that he can get you a suit no matter where you live. He will teach you exactly where to measure and he will work with you through the entire process. He's not going to just give you a chart or give you a guideline book and say, okay, go measure yourself. He will sit with you through the entire measurement process and make sure that he is satisfied with the measurements and if they don't come out correctly, he will fix it for you. Um, obviously the suit contains the race hump, 
uh, for safety protection, the number, uh, as well as my logo on the back. One of the cool additions that Jace provided for the suit is the actual American flag basically kind of hidden on the back of the race hump. This is one of the greater features of the suit. Other items, uh, such as a neoprene collar, because neoprene is a little bit softer on the skin. It's not very abrasive. It's very comfortable. It doesn't really irritate the back of your neck. The full suit of the, the full front of the suit is uh, perforated. One, in terms of perforation, the one thing I will mention is I have ridden this suit in conditions down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit in Arizona, which because of our dry heat and the nature of riding on the bike, put the on bike temperature probably somewhere in the mid 30s. Um, I was actually very comfortable while I was slightly cold. Um, the suit actually kept me fairly warm. I have also ridden with this suit in as high as 103 degrees Fahrenheit on a hot track day. The suit managed to continuously keep me ventilated. You have perforation from the very top of the suit all the way down towards the knee area and the, and the hip area. Um, I almost forgot. Gloves. Uh, in addition to the suit itself, there are also custom gloves. Um, they're not custom to the point where like every single finger is mapped out, but they are custom in terms of your overall hand measurement size. Um, these are gloves that are, you're not, you're not required to buy ballistic gloves as part of the custom suit. They are additional, um, but if you want them to be incorporated as part of your design, um, I highly suggest it. These are some of the best gloves that I own, like hands down. Um, if there was one thing that I wish Jace would do is I wish he would make a short cuff of this glove because I would wear it all the time. Um, one of the big problems for me is tactile feedback. The actual palm portion of this glove gives me great, great feedback. And then of course it is optional, but I highly recommend you getting your ring finger and your pinky finger tied together for distortion control. Um, and the way that he did it here was he has the lightning bolt on this glove and then he has my number on this glove and if you'll notice they are opposites to match the suit one side is blue the other side is black this is all jace's design the only thing he used was my logo the lightning bolt and the flash ring logo and my color scheme per se he did everything else and the suit is fantastic so it has been breaking in slowly but the break-in on the lower portion has taken some time. Um, honestly, I mean, I can't say I've got experience with any other suits. Um, I have not had a custom suit made by any other company, but I have been very, very happy with what I've gotten in this package. I paid full price for the suit and full price for the base layer because I like the products and I believe in them. The ballistic suit um, does run around $2,000 for the custom version. However, I while I know that that is a huge sticker shock, and believe me, I was not anticipating on having to spend that kind of money to get onto the track. Um, the advantage of a custom suit like this is you get the latest technology that's available, and you will have this suit for a long time. It's the best motorcycle gear that you can buy um, this is something that you can wear on the street when you go out riding. If, you, if you're going out on canyon rides or long rides, you're going to be fully protected head to toe. It feels like a second skin, so it gives you full maneuverability, all with being fully protected. Um, it's amazing going back to my street gear, how bulky that gear feels compared to the suit. While the suit is rather heavy, my suit probably weighs around 20 pounds. When you wear it, um, it does not feel bulky or it doesn't get in the way. It really feels like it's part of you and that enhances your race experience or just your normal riding experience tremendously. That's it guys. Thank you very much for watching today. I really appreciate the support for Talk Tuesdays. Please post your questions or comments below. Please reach out to VNM or to Ballistic. If you do, please let them know that I sent you. Thank you for watching this week's Talk Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow for Workout Wednesday. Be sure to get some sleep because we're going to be hitting it hard tomorrow. And if not, we'll see you out there.